Welcome back after the little one minute break. And uh, we were talking about a picture that you are looking at right now on your television uh, and screen and all computer for that matter. And all you listening to it on KSLO, right. you just you have to be seeing, it <laughs> yeah, yeah, seeing it on the radio. Yes, seeing it on the radio. And you can almost see it. Uh, Keith sure. Bourgeois is in the center. He's a very successful horse trainer, uh, originally from uh, Church Point. I think he lives in the Karen Crow area now. And he's with uh, two of his clients and a couple that uh, I met that night, real nice, nice people, Sue and uh, Bobby uh, Saro. And uh, their uh, occupation back in the New Orleans area, uh, they own Southern Oaks Plantation. Southern Oaks Plantation is uh, a reception uh, center. Uh, they, if you're thinking of uh, having uh, a wedding held in the New Orleans area, I'd certainly recommend that you contact Southern Oaks Plantation. This couple here have a facility that's one of the tops in the South, and uh, they're highly recommended by uh, my friends in that area that know Bobby and Sue, and uh, they work hard. And uh, Bobby has a little habit. Uh, they, they were dressed by coincidence with the same uh, Sarasucker jacket? Sarasucker jackets. That's right. what Sue told me. Now, I don't know about that, but we just picking Sue. We like to pick at our friends, and uh, you are our new friends. And uh, Bobby has a habit when he wins a race, he throws the jacket uh, to the jockey. He gives the, uh, he wears a jacket all the time. Uh, <laughs> quite a young couple, nice young couple. Good luck to you all, and may your horse win next time so you can throw that jockey. Jacket. And we got another photo here. Okay, and uh, this gentleman here, uh, I had lunch with uh, Greg Bordelon uh, this past uh, week, and uh, over at Swallows, our fine helper Beth and Scotty uh, with the Santa breakfast. And uh, he is, this gentleman is a Santa, uh, Christmas all year round, and he's kind of like, a, I guess, a professional Santa. He was going to attend a seminar on, I guess, how to uh, promote uh, Santa Claus business during the Christmas holidays, mm -hmm. and he throws these uh, the blooms. The blooms. He gave me one for uh, for me to keep. And uh, he's a musician by, I guess, his daytime job is musician. And he's played. Uh, Greg, of course, hails from Cottonport, Louisiana, in a Vols Parish. He played at all the nightclubs back then in a Vols, uh, St. Landry Parish, mm -hmm. and of course Rapids, where he was living at the time. He plays the saxophone. He play, plays the saxophone. Back in those days, maybe you remember this, some of you listen, particularly in the Voss Parish, Dwayne Yates and the Capris. And uh, right now, and uh, his wife, I also spoke to her, her name is Ran, R-A-N, just mm -hmm. like you ran fast. She ran for him and she caught him. How about that? Good luck to you all. And we got some ducks along the... Oh yeah, I lake. mean, I'm, I have so many ducks that there must be 25 now. They started out about a dozen and they're up to, they feel safe. They know I don't hunt. So uh, they they just come in all around they the camp. They look tasty. I mean, they look good. That's my Three Mile Lake <laughs> camp. That's my old pontoon boat there. And that's uh, on the little gazebo there. And different, the sun, uh, every sunset. day the sunset is different. I keep, uh, I guess y'all get bored, but I don't get bored uh, taking pictures of the I sunset. Had, I had Channel 3 on this week. I saw somebody took a picture from, from your camp looking out on a Supermoor Point. Yeah. This week, it was actually at, at, at your camp. At, I think it was maybe, I, I, one of, it's one of the your neighbors over there. I don't know which okay, one. Okay, how about that? Well, yeah. good. And uh, this was, must have been Saturday morning. Yes, it was Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Megan and I went uh, do some walking and we, walked on the grounds of uh, the uh, Evangeline Downs Casino and uh, Racetrack and Evangeline Downs Hotel. This young lady hails from Sunset, Louisiana, and her name is Tina uh, Guidry. I said, how do you like the uh, hotel here? She says, I don't just like it, I love it. Okay. And uh, she says, I'm a regular here. So Tina, thanks so much for the good positive. And if you have some friends, uh, please uh, recommend. And also I talked to another uh, lady, but she didn't want me to uh, 
Miss. Uh, take a picture. Take a picture, and and I'm speaking of Miss uh, Betty Woods from Opelousas here. She watches the program. She's very familiar. She loves the rooms. They just about maybe what 20, 25 percent bigger than the normal room that you buy that you rent in a hotel. And uh, one thing I think all of them say, the beds are unbelievably. Now you gotta kind of jump up there. Mm -hmm. They're kind of high, but that's all that fine, classy uh, bedding that Mr. Jim Bourbon chose and, and for the hotel. And if you rent the suite, it's got a nice sitting area and couches, and and the, and the shower's big enough to wash the horse in. And two, it's two, nice. and you got two uh, bedrooms uh, mm -hmm. adjoining the center. Really nice. Really, really nice. Then okay. You went to the Orphan Train Museum meeting, is what yes, I see here. Yes, uh, the gathering. That's mm -hmm. right, and that's Mr. Ashton Briley right here, right. Uh, along with an individual who's been a driving force of the Louisiana Orphan Train uh, movement. Movement, and I'm speaking about Harold Dupre. And of course, we have a picture. I didn't take many pictures. I, I was kind of standing in the back and I didn't have a big, big picture. I met this couple here uh, going into the muse museum, and uh, you're going to. Well, we already passed the horse picture, but right. they're part of the I'm in racing, and uh, they in that picture uh, that we showed earlier of uh, I'm in fashion winning the race. And uh, this is retired Bishop Spira from uh, Leonville, Louisiana, now retired and living here in Opelousas at the Retirement Center. Was the Bishop of Lake Charles for years. I guess was the original Bishop of Lake Charles when whenever they, they, they split they, Lake Charles off. That's correct. So um, Ramp, uh, that's your cousin right That's there, right. and all the spires around here for that matter. And uh, this Miss Dot uh, Swallow, uh, Miss Dot's uh, son, uh, Richard, of course, uh, works over and manages the uh, Lafayette, uh, Louisiana office for Safeway Insurance from Chicago, Illinois. Good morning, Miss Dot. And I said, uh, yes, you had an important position uh, with the General Adjustment Bureau in Texas. She says, boy, you remember everything. I said, well, you know, kind of kin to me. I got to remember that. And uh, this is the oldest uh, living uh, orphan train rider that we know of in Louisiana. Uh, and she's spry, and this was her birthday, uh, 96 years young. She was only three, I think, when she came in yep. on the train. Most of them were around two Didn't and a half, it. three, like Daddy. And that's her son on the right, and of course that's Athlete Dupre, Harold's wife, who also works side by side, of course, and uh, she greeted uh, Miss Bernard. Miss Bernard tries to make it every year to the gathering, and uh, this is a picture of a lot, a lot of people. I don't know where we're gonna hold it next Freddie year. Freddie Herpin, good morning. I see yeah, him in the Freddie, crowd. Yeah, Freddie, Freddie is there. I took a picture of Freddie and uh, Harold presenting, and that was Miss Flo in Ms. her, Flo in her in the way in the background. I'm sorry, Miss Flo. And uh, that was uh, Mrs. Briley. And uh, this uh, is two ladies with uh, Lucian. Uh, this is, uh, they are the Jansons, and uh, they hail from uh, the um, Metairie, Louisiana area, and uh, Mr. Earl Johnson. He lives in Metairie. Of course, his father uh, was uh, Anthony, better known as Tony Johnson. Uh, when he when he came from New York City, his family name was uh, Anthony Zemp, Z-E-M-P, and. Uh, he was adopted by Mr. Horace Johnson family in 1907 in Mansoura, Louisiana, and they were on the way to uh, uh, Marksville. I said, oh, oh y'all going to the casino. They said, you caught us. You're right. <laughs> Hope they had good luck, and good morning to you all. They, I know they're going to be watching uh, the, the show today. And this is Lucian uh, Le, 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 Perry, Le Perry, they say it now. We call it Lapery, and from, from Opelousas and his lovely wife. And they are real hard workers also, uh, do a lot of volunteering. And this is the M.R. Andrepont uh, uh, store over in, uh, that was in Prairie Rhone, Louisiana, in 19, I mean, 1887. Uh, they opened this grocery yeah. store, yeah, and it was, uh, uh, it was donated by the M.R. Andrepont family. 
and we thank them. And this was after Mass Sunday, uh, walked into the new church being built uh, mm -hmm. to replace the, the building that burned. And uh, this is- the Conception Church in Washington? In Washington, and this mm -hmm. is a group here. And- uh, I see the, Stan and Billy Joe Muller. Yep, yep, and really coming along, and, and Debbie, of course, right. uh, works with DCG. Right. And uh, right. the, the building is gonna be uh, as close to a replica of the appearance as it was uh, prior to the fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think everybody's gonna enjoy it. And at the same time, you see all of the steel uh, studs and all the uh, heavy timber. We don't have timber, we have steel mm -hmm. for the structure. So it should uh, be a lot more fireproof. And, and this, this Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I was driving away from an HBPA meeting all right at five o'clock yesterday afternoon, but I had to stop and take a picture of the frost stop. Uh, you read about them every now and then, but you don't the, see them got very some often. all over the country, still a few floating around. Still. They had redone it when they did that movie everybody's all American. And, and really I might add that nice we, we had a, a, a good meeting. Uh, we got along. Uh, I found the, the everybody was working together a lot Horseman better meeting. at the Horseman's meeting. And uh, we, res, we were resolving a few issues that uh, was serious in nature, needed a lot of attention, a lot of hours of meetings. Problems with, with the old group that ran it had gotten all the trouble. Y'all yeah, still, still mopping up the mess. Still, still trying to get it all, and we're close, close to doing that. And uh, we want to thank all of our friends out there that elected us and are uh, giving us time to uh, get all this back of us and tend to what we uh, are hired by the public at zero, zero pay, right. pay, now there's no pay in this Vote, job. Voted by the public. Uh, but voted by the horsemen right. and uh, across uh, the state and across the, the United States, if they race a horse in Louisiana, they can vote and they do vote. And uh, for that, we want to thank everybody for being patient and uh, hopefully we're gonna th get things going. Uh, on the way back, I needed some fuel. I stopped in at the Gross Tate uh, exit. Uh, I think it's a Shell station there. And and I don't know, this young man just got my attention. I started talking to him. He's with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. Mm -hmm. His name is Sean Kenny. Uh, he is a biologist supervisor over at uh, Toledo uh, Bend. Toledo Ben Dam. Works out of Anacoco. Anacoco, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And uh, real nice, nice young fella. And good luck to you and your future years with uh, the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries. Two more photos. And uh, this was uh, Tuesday night. Uh, went over to Cafe. I'll get it. I'll have it. I know I have it. Where I have it? Right here. Uh, Glenn and Jeanette Longclaw over at Cafe Josephine. That was their first time there yep. in downtown Sunset, Louisiana. Uh, I said, Longclaw, you must have some relations uh, ships uh, to our area. He said, well, they're from, my family's originally from the Leonville area. He right. says, you know Joel uh, Longclaw? I said, very, very well, the but mayor. I said, you can't be too close to him. You're too small to be, <laughs> and he laughed, but I says, I can see the, the Longclaw resemblance uh, right. in, in this real nice, nice couple. Then we have a couple uh, with, uh, oh, I'm, I'm holding th three beautiful girls that uh, are waitresses there. Uh, and on the right uh, is Heidi uh, Mott. Uh, her mama is Rochelle, and uh, her dad is Scotty Mott. And uh, the, uh, what we said, uh, the girl in the middle? Girl in the middle. Man Mandy, Mandy Veltan. Veltan. That's correct, Mr. Manny Veltan's granddaughter. Yep. And I asked this young lady on the left, she's an excellent, in fact, she's a supervisor there. Uh, I'll, I'll try to catch the name and come back with it later. I apologize, young lady. I do you very uh, efficient work, I might add. We want to remind everybody that the Little Theater is having their play still going on right now. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the musical, it's going on Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. It's going to be Sunday at 2, 2 p.m. this week and next week. Go by the Delta Grand and get your tickets all for the Opelousas Little Theater. And folks, time for our half, our half the show break. We're only going to break for one minute on radio and TV. We'll see you on the other side of one one minute.